What's up, everybody? How's it going? Going good. Uh, we are, welcome to uh, the podcast that we're not exactly sure is about, but we're podcasting. And we're having a good time. We're gonna get so many views. <laughs> we're gonna get so lit, yeah, right? So many <laughs> listens. So many streams. Yeah, right. We're gonna we're on we're on Spotify. We're on SoundCloud. Wherever you get your podcast, we're right there. Like a lady. who's here who's here winston for the audio listeners so uh i am your host winston corona joined by my lovely Woo-woo. wife miriam corona Woo-woo. and then uh we have the chub chub one and uh his chub chubbiness frank gonzalez chubbiness. <laughs> and uh eric witzka on the uh on earth it looks like he's floating in space <laughs> is this the sandra bullock movie <laughs> good one that's his one joke for the night that was great no, no. <laughs> that was good. I will go to sleep now <laughs> and then we have the midget of evil himself Danny Escarcega <laughs> I dare all our non-Latin and some of our Latin listeners to say that name wow last name and then uh, we have the uh, the Nate dog Nathan oh, come on Nathan. how's it going man going good this is uh, we we just all decided that we wanted to do a podcast, and we we don't know what we're talking about, but we enjoyed our own conversation enough that we just decided decided to start recording. Yeah, that that's our lives. We never know what we're talking about, but we're talking about something. So yeah, so don't don't expect this to be good because all the good stuff has already been talked about. Yeah, it always feels like that. <laughs> Speaking of I feel like. Speaking of which, I was, uh, so I came up with this idea about a top five podcast of making a schedule for, and I went on Spotify just to see, you know, like, let's see if anyone else came up with the idea. And there's like 10 other podcasts of that idea. So yeah, I'm real original. Uh, This is going to, going to, it's going to get a lot of of views. (laughs) So well, have a podcast is the height of unoriginality. Just, just <laughs> at this put, point, just yeah. put that Ryan Seacrest is a part of uh, your podcast, and it'll be fine. Post yeah, and just at some hosted point, hosted by Ryan Seacrest. Yeah, yeah, just at some well, point during the recording, just either shove his picture on the screen or like just an audio clip, and hey, he was there. He was there. It's true. Yep. <laughs> yep. Or, or we'll just slowly, slowly start calling uh, Frank. Like we'll start changing his name slowly, and then after a while, everyone like, oh, time. that that actually must be him, you know? Yeah. Like, well, yeah, there's several people with that name. Come on, like, you chub, know, chub, to <laughs> <laughs> chub, awesome. chub to Seacrest, chub, chub to Seacrest. So we, as a group, um, Eric and Frank have been working on a. I don't think we've talked about this on any, anything that we've recorded. Have been working basically on like a March Madness esque tournament for all the movies that have come out ever in existence. <laughs> and um, we're already a couple phases in. I think we're definitely past the first or second phase of the round. If if you guys won't, won't want to explain it, sure. Uh, this is brought to you by Ryan Seacrest. Yep, there it is. <laughs> it's official now. <laughs> This works. This works in two steps. I don't know. I <laughs> hope when you edit it, it's just Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> uh, Ryan Seacrest just whispered into his ear and just gave him the idea for this. Let me whisper in your ear. You know those shirts that say uh, "The Force is Female." We're gonna make a shirt that says "The Force is Seacrest." <laughs> nice, <laughs> guys. Uh, if this ever does blow up, we're gonna have a like a just nightmare with getting the rights to him and his name. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I was just like, I it's gonna so actually scary. have to be hosted by <laughs> Ryan yeah, Seacrest. Like, I'm sorry, Mr. Seacrest. I didn't know you were an actual person. I thought they just made you up. <laughs> I thought you were a pirate. I thought you were played by Joe McHale. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, if we can get Joe McHale, <laughs> hey man, he's been on everything. I wouldn't be surprised. Do it. The movie game, game that we've decided to play is in the uh, vein of March Madness. So the first couple rounds we've done is making the actual bracket. There are thousands of movies out there. We put out 
what we felt as a group was the best of the best. We missed a few. <laughs> we certainly did. Yeah, but we yeah. still covered as many bases as we could. And we asked, what, 20 different people. And then that got broken down. And then we asked that same group to give their top of each category. Rank broke them into categories, Rank felt which ones they would do the best in. Each category then got its, its nominations. We've just received all the information as of tonight, and we ran the numbers. We used Microsoft Excel. This Dang, oh, that's, that's right, advanced program. <laughs> that's the of that program. L. <laughs> and it's not just X. <laughs> L. Okay, is that L? L. It's it's spelled out, so they you have know it's the real deal. It's like E X E L L. C E L. C even better. C E L. Oh my lord, there's more. So you you just said that you guys just got all the entries in. Did you it actually took get so the entries long, in? So long. Did, yeah. The last okay. last entrance. Procrastination got, got is a real thing. <laughs> hey, I don't think it's a game. You can procrastinate. It just yeah, did, it did take the entire summer. <laughs> Three months. I know. We'll see. But uh Dude, the row, the list was in the begin. The list right now is robust because we have what, oh, like yeah. eight, eight movies per category, and how many categories? How many were there? Uh, I believe there are twelve categories. Yeah. So that I mean, uh, that's ninety, if I'm not mistaken. That's ninety movies right now. Can we actually bring up the list? Eight times twelve is ninety-six. Ninety-six. Yeah. So and that's just and the then, top eights. There's and there's honorable this, mentions. There's all sorts of different. Yep. Things. Yep. And this is after the like two cullings of movies that we've already had. So we, we've th th they've definitely tried their best to really get in as many noteworthy movies in. That being said, this list is trash. Blade Runner's not in it, and I barely want to play anymore. <laughs> he, he's mad we did. We found out where it fell on the list of the category oh God, it's of so science fiction. Low. It came in 17. It's like bottom <laughs> order. <laughs> Did anyone on this podcast vote for Blade Runner besides Nate? It's a good point. These are his actual contemporaries. Did you, Frank? Oh, yeah, I, you're not voting. I am the only, I'm the arbiter of the group. Uh, how about you, Eric? I'm the you, Eric? I'm not a Blade Runner fan. Come on, dude. What, what was your number eight for that c category? Um, <laughs> he's going to pull it up. I'll tell you. Did you, Winston? Uh, I think I put it. Either my number eight okay. or number nine. If it's there, I'm happy. <laughs> Did you, Miriam? Did you put Blade Runner yields? She's like, why would I do such thing? Danny, do you even know what movie I'm talking about? I know what movie you're talking about. I did not pick it. Oh, God, you guys. It's such a good movie, man. <laughs> it's, it's really it, I, I don't understand, understand why you love it so much, dude. I it, still okay, don't two reasons. It's got Harrison Ford. Which Three is great, reasons. But Eric's number Harrison eight. Ford. Eric actually did a top ten I did for this. ten. And yeah. it's not on any of those. Super <laughs> over His number eight is Evolution. You think Evolution's better than Blade Runner? Starring David Duchovny. S David Duchovny! His number <sighs> nine is Jurassic World. What? You're crazy. Number You're crazy. <laughs> You're crazy. And his crazy. number ten is The Labyrinth. You're okay, crazy, yeah. man. Dance, That's magic, dance. Both. Evolution is not a bad movie, but it's just like... It's, it's I don't know. There's no substance to it. It's just laugh. Had I done a list, and I'm realizing that as I'm looking at this, Nate, I would have done Blade Runner. As what? Okay. So but it probably would have been how you feel about it is how I felt about Dune to the point where if Dune were on here, I would have voted it above Star Wars. Wow. Yeah. Your, your Blade Runner. Oh, by is the my way, are, are you excited for the new remake? Very much. Right. Dude, you in fact, good. that's how it's tied because Nate loves uh, Blade Runner twenty forty one even better, and and Dennis Villeneuve directed it. Yep. He's about to I, do that's movie. one of the reasons why I'm super excited for that movie. What yeah, I've seen look, looks good. The, what I've seen of it looks really cool. Yeah. Um, so Frank, explain to me why you can't take part because so far everything has so been mad. everything has been fully <laughs> just based on the numbers. You know, so it's like your vote is no different from anybody else's. So why, well, why can't you take part in this? I, and actually, it's, it's not, not just it. myself. Eric and I determined that there should be omniscient non-partakers who they, they can see all things and they can make sure the numbers don't become corrupted. Uh, <laughs> there was some concern in the beginning that uh, because we've often had, 
here's here's the point. We've known each other for many years. I've known I've held Nate in my arms as a as a newborn baby. It is true. We might yeah, have exactly. influence over some of the movies you like or don't like, just yeah. from history. Let alone if we have conversations with you later. Or so, vote for this movie, or I'll break your legs. And we wa- <laughs> well, we wanted that to happen among Nate you. They threatened me, and, and Miriam utilized that efficiently. I was proud of her. Wild <laughs> hogs, people. <laughs> wild hogs. Is hogs. Great. It's great. Have you not that seen that movie? I've great. seen wild hogs. The, it's great. The yes. aspect that you can take away from that is we wanted one person to actually just, for the love of movies, yeah. sit, sit it out and pull it. It was going to be Eric and myself, but after stage one, we re- Eric realized he could not be partial. It <laughs> was partial. never going to be that. None way. of the movies that I tried to do that for none of them even got chosen so really uh because really. you need other people to vote on them as well <laughs> i know it's 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 tough they did what i think which, which i'm the only you, we can tell you how many votes it got what what movie are you talking about uh there's at least three i know that there was I'll wild Hogs and there, there was devil um, wears prada devil wears prada devil Let's look. Let's see what the numbers are for that. Devil Wears product. I think I'm the only one here who hasn't seen the list yet. So, good. I, I'm excited. Has to it not been emailed to Danny? No, it, it has sent it to I, me. I, wanna, I just don't check it. Yeah, I want. I want to. Wild Hogs came in 13th in its category. Okay, that's, Wild Hogs got 13. That's not terrible. That's barely outside the top half. And Devil Wears Prada. I think I voted for The Devil Wears Prada. I think Thir- also 13th in, in its category. Also 13th. Let's see. What, what uh, category? All right. First, this, we should go over what the rigged. categories are. Okay. And then maybe we can go here, through. Here, we'll have, we'll have uh, Frank actually just pull it up. Oh, by the way, by the way, I want to say on the record. Do it. I came up to Nate about my top five podcast idea. What last was that? summer. It was yeah, last summer. Last, last summer. And... You guys ripped off my idea with that. <laughs> so it's, it's your fault. You, you realize this? there's got to be connective so tissue. You can't say, hey, I had a conversation with Nate. Meanwhile, on the other side of the planet, these other two guys did something, ripped us off. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other side of the planet. I'm pretty sure just before we started recording, you said that you looked up other top five podcasts on Spotify and found like <laughs> eight other podcasts. Yeah. So, <laughs> it was like 18 or something would, like that. Yeah. I would have tried on, to defend you. I, I'm original. I have the original content. <laughs> and you guys are- hey, I got this idea off a lot. I would, off, I would have uh, tried Facebook, to defend so. you, but you just said that like 10 minutes ago. All right. That's true. Yeah, when here you the, really shouldn't have Here's the top that. eights for those first two categories. List. Okay, let's see. The number one. What? Indiana Jones, The Last Crusade at 79. Yes. Yes. Did I pick that one? Did I pick that one? Yeah, Yeah, all 79 of of them, Danny. (laughs) There's like a lot of... That was my number three. I definitely didn't didn't pick that. I love that movie. That's, that's, in my opinion, the best Indiana Jones, and I am a pretty, pretty big uh, Indiana Jones fan. And uh, yeah, that movie meant a, means a lot to me because just because of uh, I watched it when I was younger, like a lot, and it's still I watched it recently, and it still holds up. Still a great. Song. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, yeah, Harrison Ford and Sean Connery. Come on, <laughs> Steven Spielberg, and just the way it's shot and the way that they handle action is yeah. so well done. It's not over the top. It's not in your face but it's still exciting and interesting. It's ridiculous in a way that seems very grounded. Yeah. Yes, it's not, yeah, exactly. Perfectly, yeah. perfectly action adventure. Yeah, nothing like the Christmas I, Skull. I for <laughs> the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Yep. And it still didn't manage to get on the list. Have you guys seen that movie? I have. Oh, oh yeah, we've, yeah, we've, we've seen that movie. We've seen that movie. We're, we, uh, we were aware of that movie that you like and I, seemingly only you <laughs> i don't mind it All right, then. it's not one of my favorites i mean I'll, i i'm with eric i'll watch it but i mean you if you want you could pick apart that movie pretty bad <laughs> as i was growing up yeah, i realized i loved so all hungry. movies i enjoyed everything i could find something good about most movies yep around the time of league of Extraordinary, Other than the last Jedi. it marked a change not phantom menace 
not Attack of the Clones. It's not that bad. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen is where I was like, was oh, bad. movies can be bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's really not that bad. You know what? It's not that it's bad. It's disappointing because you expect <laughs> yeah. it to be better than it was. It, it could have been. Yeah, it yeah. could have been. But there's also a weird time. It was a weird time where like movies were very ridiculous. Was that early 2000s or late 90s? That's late 90s, right? Are we trying to uh, attack hackers again? <laughs> no, we're not. We're not even near that. Hackers That's... is trash. And <laughs> you trash. brought it up unsolicited. I know, but I was what I was. I knew in your brain the cogs were moving. No, nope, I wasn't even going to be like, talk about it. Nineties. I was going to say just... no. I think it's early two thousands because it was around the same time as. In yeah, but Sean Connery seems kind of young. Attack of the Clones, but I can't look at it while I'm sharing the screen. Here, I'll, really? I'll look it up real quick. I'll, I'll look it up. One, one second. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's also it just suffered because it was a weird a weird time where it was hard to do, and even now it's still hard to do really big but budget really like high. What's the word I'm looking for? Like oh, a lot yeah. of suspension of belief. And uh, but back then. They, I feel like they almost never nailed it. Unless it was like Star Wars or Indiana Jones. Those movies weren't very good. Extraordinary. Yeah, I, rem I remember. It depends. One... There's a lot of stuff I remember... early on that flew under the radar. I, I remember a big part of the reason why I didn't like the movie was what they did with uh, Mr. Hyde and how he looked. I was just like, he looks weirdish. I was me. fine with that part. Really? Yeah. He kind of looked weird sometimes. It came out in 2003. So yeah. it was early 2000s. So it's yeah, from, that is after both Phantom Menace and Attack yeah. of the Clones, 99 and 2002. Yeah. Miriam's done. She's just off camera. She's like, uh-huh. League, League didn't make it. We're done. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to look at where it actually landed for you. Miriam, I, I feel your pain. Flipping Blade Runner is amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> and it was like one of the least voted for movies. It makes me want to cry. Yeah, it's, I'm actually just very surprised you guys picked Fast and Furious, or I made it to the like to top three. Like them, I love yeah, that. Yeah, I'm a little surprised too. I love it. Yeah, that the, especially the first one. Wow, really good movie. Love it. The the I'm with you on that. Yes. What? So it's no. over right. Way over. No, Fast and the Furious is great. No, uh, it's not. The first one's great. The fourth one's great. The fifth one's great. The sixth one's great. The seventh one's great. No. No. You That's didn't say the third one, right? No. What? No, I didn't. And three, I said four and oh, <laughs> one. Oh, three, Tokyo three, Drift five. is my favorite. No, it is my favorite. Bro, you're you crazy. About? You're crazy. The driving <laughs> is awesome <laughs> in Tokyo Drift. <laughs> the driving is good. That is yes. it. Everything it, else sucks in that So much three. drifting. Yes. That's the best <laughs> thing about three. It's about cars, believe it or not. It's not about robbing banks. It's not about shooting people. It's about the cars. Yeah, Hot but dies in the third one. See, nah, yeah, he does. But does he really? Because he's he back in what the sixth one or fifth? No, I think it's the eighth one. <laughs> See, yeah, uh, funny. That, that's, that's why. That's I why don't know. Five, no. After five, watch the movie. Like They're like the Transformers movies. Transformers. Transformers. Fast and Furious was my number two. Fast and Furious can be ridiculous if you still love every moment. Transformers can make sense, and I still want to jump off a high building. It's <laughs> not good. No, the first one's good. You're crazy. First, first one is good. good. The yes. second See? one is half of that. The third one is half of that. Yes. The fourth one is half of that. The fifth one is half of that. But then Bumblebee But then Bumblebee, but back. Then Bumblebee yep. was. Yep. I haven't uh, seen Bumblebee oh. yet. I need it's good. It. Okay. It's good. And then they, they kept the old designs for uh, like old school Transformers look. Yeah. So yeah. I, and that was I have my problems with Is that it looked exactly how it did when I was uh, four yeah, five. I got the thing I didn't like it about, like Soundwave. The only thing I didn't like about Bumblebee is they retcon things, but then they still try to make it seem like it was part of the franchise. It's like, is this something different or is this connected to the bad stuff? Like, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of confused. But other than that, it was a good movie. I liked it. Miriam, it's not it's in this like one big pop League of Extraordinary though. Gentlemen was actually in the comic book category, so we'll touch on it later. Mm. Oh, but stay, staying true to form, it came in 13th. <laughs> Just <laughs> like the other movies. Just like sorry. the others. Dude, I hate this so what much. about the whole worst Prada? Okay. 13th. 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 
God. They all came at 13. If we want to talk about the comic yeah. book category, there is some extreme discrepancies in that category. Well, let's let's go down the list. It's easier for me to go down. Okay. And, and you guys, you guys watched all of these animated ones. So now we're moving into animated. Are we not talking about the other action adventure movies? It's Indiana Jones and then everything else. Two was <laughs> Dude, we, we I'm very disappointed that you can't that say that Pirates is on there. Let Eric vamp about it. Go ahead. I'll talk about it. <laughs> No, Pirates is good. Pirates, Pirates is good. Okay. good. And by the way, some of these are specific, some of these aren't, but these each represent a specific movie. So like Fast and Furious is Fast and Furious, the fourth in the series. Which I feel like there were, we missed. In our Wait, movie. what? Bad Boys I did not know that. Bad Boys 2. was better is. than Sherlock Holmes and well, Pirates of the Caribbean. We just didn't switch. I know, you didn't change them over when you had the list. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean is the first Curse one. of the Black... Pearl. Yes. Oh, that yeah, that's, a that's the best movie. one in my opinion. Everybody's like, oh, okay, yeah. 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 So with a lot of these <laughs> oh, franchises, assume it's the the, the agreed best. upon best one in the series. Wait, wait, wait. So Fast and Furious is that the fourth one? I think it is. But here, here we go, man. We no one in the world was voting for Tokyo Drift. No one thinks that's the, the best one. one. To make it the first one. Does it matter? It just as fast. The fast and the furious. You pick which one you think is the best. <laughs> it still landed in third place. The true. fourth one, in my opinion, isn't that good. You're, like, you're I wrong. Think the first the one is one probably is arguably the best. Like <laughs> Winston, <laughs> you were. Winston, think about this. Okay? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you two things. I love this argument. I'm gonna show you two things, Winston. Okay, one from the fourth one on. It's been the same creative team. From four to eight has been the same creative team. Whereas one, two, and three were completely different producers, yep. completely different directors. Okay. Yeah. So the fact that they've kept the same team since the fourth one means that they got something right. Two. Yeah. And they, they nailed it in number five, and that's it. Yeah, uh, dude. After that, they've been on drugs or something. I, I, look, like, I, I agree. I, I'm on? not going to agree. I'm not going to disagree that six, seven, and eight are barely about cars. But as action movies, which is the category that we're in, they're entertaining. Okay. Okay. And then All two. Right. I'm outvoted here. Whatever. It's fine. Four. Let's... Four also led the way for like five and six and seven. It brought the franchise back. It made it. It. Well, what's the word I'm looking for? It galvanized it and gave it a. I still can't think of the word. Big boy words. But basically, it l legitimized it because two and yep. three, while fun to watch, are very stupid movies. Okay, they're fun to watch, but they're very dumb. Yes. Four, at Paris. least. <laughs> okay. And and we can Yo, clarify bro. that more. Two and three are fun to watch, but they're dumb, and th that can't be redeemed. Four through eight and nine are dumb, and no one cares. They're amazing. <laughs> Yeah. I disagree with that completely. <laughs> I'm just saying the populace. It's not yeah, to every it's human the general being. public. Okay. okay. Uh, the Danny, I, I realized the other day when I was rewatching <laughs> Fast and Furious <laughs> Two that you literally have the exact same personality as Roman, dude. It's like almost exactly the same. Um, hey Pierce, it's like the same. The way Roman responds to people. Like, people are just trying to have a normal conversation with Roman half the time <laughs> in Fast and Furious 2, and Roman, like, replies to them like they, they just insulted his mother. And it's like, dude, I just wanted you to How get you in the car. What you say about like, my mama? Exactly. He's like, you don't tell me what to do. It's like, bro, take it easy, man. <laughs> take it easy. Yeah. Is there I a problem with that? Danny just biting into a piece of bread. To, like I said. We hungry. <laughs> we hungry. <laughs> awesome. Anyway. Okay. Can, Sherlock Holmes is that today. Downy. Sherlock Holmes is great. I think it, it is. I love that place movie. at five. The One and two are really good movies. The slow motion. Ooh. Oh yeah. yeah. Done by the guy who runs the slow mo guys channel, Gavin Free. He he did the slow mo for those movies. Ding ding nice. ding 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 ding. Then. Uh, Mission Impossible. Okay, so so what are we going with number one? Yeah. No, I think three, four, or five, honestly. Well, I think it's just a toss-up between which one of those is best. I think maybe four. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm not going to fight you on any of those three, four, or five because they're both fantastic. It's number one under discussion. I'm ending the meeting. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Podcast out. <laughs> <laughs> Publishing as is. Yeah, it could be any one of those three. Uh, I'm glad National Treasure's on here. I was surprised. Yeah, um, that's a good cool movie. Eric's also delighted that Knight's Night, Tale was Ledger, a Ledger, man. I mean, there's what so many What is a Knight's nice Tale? I've never seen that movie. You need to watch it. It's good. I haven't seen it either. I can't help but tear up every time I see that movie. You know, I haven't seen it in forever, and I don't remember anything about it other than it's Heath Ledger, and it was not on my list. But I should probably give it tale. another watch. I feel like everybody should at least watch all of these movies that make the list. I know, right? <laughs> the good uh, thing is... What? You guys all should at least watch every movie ever. I mean, there's always time, Whatever. at least. No, no at problem. Least. Uh, and then eighth is National Treasure, which, yep. yeah. My brother loves that movie so much. He Why? watched it a ton of times. He could probably quote every line in that movie. I watch is it a bunch like of times. Is that like he's always trying to be? I'm still the Declaration <laughs> it's, it's the Declaration of of, of independence. Actually, we're gonna do his voice a lot. Actually, but, it's great. We ben, love him, Ben Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> you were great. A little glass. He was my grandfather's father. <laughs> you All know right. what? There's a no, never mind. I'll say that for later. <laughs> I'll save that for later. Animated. Oh wait, before we go on to animated, before. Uh, Bad Boys and Rush Hour. Um, yeah, but th those are nine and mention. ten. They, they didn't make it. Mention. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. I like Rush Honestly, Hour. Dude, I, I like, like Bad Boys. Rush Hour made They're both good. Boat. They're both different. They should have been. I think up. they both hold up. Yeah, I really feel like Bad Boys should have been higher. I think you could like second. Nah, second Rush Hour should have been both higher. Better. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Okay. Awesome. On to animation. Shrek. <laughs> Number one spot. Overrated. Yes. No, you're crazy. Oh, come on. What are you speaking about? <laughs> okay, you need to watch that movie. It is overrated, but it's a great movie. No. Yeah, it's a great movie. I'm not, I'm not, a I'm not saying it's a bad movie. It's a great movie. Pick number three, my lord. <laughs> it's awesome. I mean, it's funny for, in my opinion, it's funny for adults. It's great for kids. It has awesome subcontext. And it even has social commentary for a kid's animated show. It's great. <laughs> And in the yeah. morning, I'm making waffles. I'm oh. disappointed. I would rather I'm disa marry someone ugly than someone short. <laughs> wow. Daddy. Sucks uh, for you, dude. You, I hate oh. you so much. You're scared me. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bro. This really should be a podcast about you. <laughs> I told you. I told you. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Number two was <laughs> Lion King. Instead of defending. Lion King, sweet. Love Lion King. Overrated. I, I agree. And I feel this is the first big push that this we saw. This is just all of you voting for it. Was Spider-Man. This, this should have been number two. This should have been number one. This is no, an amazing It should have been number two. <laughs> number really? Really? Number two. really? We're putting Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse over the Lion King and yes. Shrek? Yes, yes, I would. Not over that Shrek. Movie is amazing. Shrek is unbelievable. <laughs> But I, I recently saw Lion King, and it is great. It's awesome. But Spidey is Spidey versus better. It's Spidey, Spidey, Spidey is. You recently <laughs> saw the Lion King? Yeah. It was, I mean, not it's, super recently. It must have been like within, within six months. The newer one? We're talking about I mean, the 95 classic, bro. I know, but it's the same movie, just different drawings. It really you is. You know what? Uh, there's a difference. Unlike there's a reason with Blade Runner was Animal, uh, Animal, Animal <laughs> Book, Jungle Book, there is a difference between the 95 cartoon and the, uh, the uh, okay. Uh, live action. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll hold my, my judgments. Uh, Jeremy Irons? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Voice he's, actors. He's awesome. I mean, arts. They pretty much did scene for scene what the cartoon was. Yeah, but there are, ch there are differences. There are, and it's a little long in the tooth. It's more more Disney than the first one. The first one is more Macbeth. Yeah. It's, I, it's I'm telling more you dramatic. the facts. You <laughs> disagreeing them with them is not accepting truth. Anyone that's seeing this podcast, write in your comments. <laughs> I'd like to hear what you think. 
<laughs> okay, oh, okay. Yeah. Let, let, let's there, go for it. Is Eric being abused? <laughs> is it right and Every just? Every day! <laughs> abuse! Boris Toy Story. Showing. That's pretty good. I agree with that. I agree with it. Five is Goofy, goofy Movie. movie. That Way too sucks. high. Way <laughs> too high. <laughs> I, I think yeah, it, it's it's the age. The group. Goofy movie two was better. Oh my god! <laughs> I said it. I said what I said. I said it. They were in the X Games. I said it. <laughs> I I didn't like that movie at all. Number six was Aladdin. I don't care. Nah. Aladdin's good. Ah. Number seven was Moana. Yeah. Dang. Isn't that movie like super spiritistic or something? You're welcome. That's like saying of all the pagan religions, <laughs> this one is the one we need to avoid. But it's so good. Yeah, I was gonna oh, Aladdin isn't about magic at all. <laughs> Shrek isn't about magic. No. <laughs> Talking lions isn't about magic. That has been all day long. Isn't about magic. <laughs> All the day long, I'm seeing oh, the lions. They number... speaking to me. <laughs> All right, and yeah. then number eight. Thanks, to Brandy Newman. <laughs> they speaking to me. <laughs> number eight is Despicable Me. I think a that's a little too really high. hard. A really bad miss is Iron Giant. I can't believe Iron Giant did not make it higher on this list. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of votes for that. I remember it. It um, it. It's not even in the honorable mentions. I can't believe it. It's it such like a the good next movie. Next one down, it has to be. Look, it's mm. not. Here, uh, Frank's gonna pull up the master list. Oh, it's really cool. <laughs> the oh, really. master list. Okay. People must have just forgotten how good that movie is. It is so good. It's animated well. The story is super fun. Nineteen votes altogether. That nineteen. No, nineteen place. Oh, nineteenth place. That's crazy. Iron Giant was my number three. God, that makes me sad. Can't believe it didn't even get an honorable mention. Okay. <laughs> Can't we're, we're, we're mentioning it now. It got an honorable 19th. <laughs> it would like to mention the Iron Giant. The Call most you honorable. Haven't seen it. Go out and it's see it now. Honorable Dude. Iron Giant. Freaking launch it been a Vin Diesel's, yeah. one of Vin yeah. Diesel's I, first voice acting uh, appearances was as the Iron Giant. Look, I am, I, and I very... guess that that is testament to uh, his, his voice acting work as his uh, acting work in general. Less is more. Yes, Less exactly. Is more. <laughs> it is. It is a lot more, though. It is more. <laughs> when well, we, when yes, what were you going to say? I I am disappointed in this category because I love Mulan and How to Train Your Dragon. Those are Dude, those other are great. other than fight other than uh Spider Man, uh Spider Verse. Mulan and How to Train Your Dragon, those were my top three right there. Wow. So I'm disappointed that those didn't make it. I, Mulan I had, could easily beat Aladdin's movie and How to Train Your Dragon. You want to talk about a controversial Jeez, uh, that's a great movie. category. Comedy. I, I can't even no, imagine. I, I, don't, I, don't I don't even, even care about this category, unfortunately. The number you one movie. Did, you guys didn't even put, like, Hot Rod's an honorable mention? Like, Oh my god! Hot Rod's an honorable mention? <laughs> like that's we'll look at there, we'll get like. there. Young Frankenstein was number one. Dang, that is. And by the way, look at the numbers. They're all super close. I know the 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 gap between highest voted and lowest voted is nine points. That is not a big spread. God, that's crazy. I can't believe Hot Rod didn't make it. However, School of Rock is number two. Okay, that saves it for me. That saves it. The School of Rock is in there. Followed by The Mask at number three. Yep, I, I, That's <laughs> that crazy to me that Ace Ventura didn't make the list. Dude, I had Ace Ventura at four. I wanted it in there. I, I know. I, I think I had it at like three. Legally I don't think I remember Ace Ventura. Number four. Yeah, that wasn't even on my list. Those are all the girls voting for that. Dude, <laughs> the girls. Friggin' five Red family clueless. took over. The girls again. One. Legally blonde. No, I didn't. Okay. Damn girls. Number six was Robin Hood Men in Tights. I'm surprised with that one. Damn <laughs> girls again. <laughs> okay. For me, for me, literally in this category, I voted number one, Hot Rod, because that's one of the only comedies I like. 
And then two, Nacho Libre, because I've seen it so many times. And then after that, it was just like, I don't care. I guess I'll throw some things in here. I don't like to laugh. I don't like very many exactly. comedies. I, I, it's very hard for me to enjoy a comedy. Drama. Like he laughed laugh. at the emo coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh at all the body horror. I what laugh at emo music on, on coffee commercials. <laughs> Number seven was Austin Powers, the spy who shagged me. That was my number two. And then the top eight is rounded out by Spaceballs. Yeah, making I, Mel Brooks, who's been making great. movies since before all of us were born, including my oldest sister, who's the oldest person in our, in our voting. <laughs> three movies on the top eight. Dang, that's domination right there. That's comedy right Dude there. Dude brought it. It's not the only time we'll see a director dominating like this in the field. Nice. That's cool. <laughs> I, oh God. Your honorable mentions, go ahead. And, uh, Whit, Whitney already mentioned them, but Hot Rod, <laughs> Nacho Libre. Saying what weird? They both got 45. <laughs> Where did you get off? <laughs> Whiskey! <laughs> beans, 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 beans. <laughs> cool beans. Such a good movie. Cool. How, cool. how can you cool. quote cool. all those lines? And this movie wasn't higher. <laughs> right? I need to go to my happy place. And <laughs> 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 out of my face. God, oh, that's sad. so many Category punches. is far less surprising. Category is It's good, but it's very good. Landslide victory. <laughs> The number one comic book movie is Avengers. Yeah. This, this tied with another movie on this list for the highest points scored. Everybody loves it Avengers. did awesome. Yeah. In fact, if you're looking at these numbers, the top four movies here did better than most of the other categories. Yeah. <laughs> well, then again, you have to think about who's actually voting for these movies. Like, we know that our group are mainly geeks who love comics and have been waiting for good comic book movies for a long, long time. Dude, and I mean, now we're finally getting them. Um, the Avengers and a lot of the MCU movies, almost all of them, are either amaz- either are fantastic or amazing, and the Avengers is definitely. Can we well, I like that there's, there's uniformity in that, too. These numbers come from everyone voting them more or less in the spots that they're in now. Can we actually yep. talk? Not just that everyone voted for them. Can we actually <laughs> talk for a second about actually our least favorite Marvel movies? Um, Dude, I, I hate that Spider-Man that so well. That movie is oh, great. Oh, come it's on. Did somebody just say Ragnarok? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I did. Get off crazy. this podcast! <laughs> no. Everybody gets an opinion. Her, listen, Eric, listen. Her yeah. opinion is commonly held within the wives of me, Winston, and Wesley. None of them like Ragnarok at all, and it doesn't make sense to me, but there must be something about it. <laughs> it's a hilarious movie, dude. I don't know how you can't I like it. I liked it, too. <laughs> it was it's hilarious. I want them to be taken seriously. Yeah, but what? we've seen the serious Thor movies. They're not that good. Yeah, Actually, Dark I have World never seen, sucks. to this day, I have not seen Thor Dark World. Don't. Neither has she. Neither has she. You're not missing. I've much. been told it's not necessary like to see it ones. to understand what happens. I think Iron Man three and the Dark World. Iron Man three is not that bad. Hulk, I mean, dude, Hulk sucks. Watch I don't know, Hulk Iron again. Man one. It's terrible. everyone's okay with the other placements. No, I'm not. I'm not. Guardians no, two. I, actually, Guardians should have been. Right no, I think I think Dark Knight should get two, but I'm okay Guardians with it where it is. I was expecting Iron Dark Man Knight three. to do better. The glaring omission in in this list is um, either either or Winter Soldier or Civil War. It blows me away that neither of them are in the top eight. That yeah, is I unbelievable Civil to me. Civil War to this day is still one of my favorite MCU movies. It's amazing. You'll notice Winter Soldier is just right here. Yeah, Civil it's... War is nowhere. Not on the list. What? Shame. Hey, uh, Winston, you could have fixed it. You could have fixed it. I guess we didn't add it. Yeah. You all, you all had the chance to add movies. That I should just be number two. Our very Wait, first was round this was whatever additions, whatever subtractions, whatever modifications from the entire group. Yeah. Any and movie. Civil War was omitted. I didn't even think about that. I it probably full, just... full full disclosure. 
So was Speed. Yeah, we were, I, my mind, <laughs> Speed. I was about to, I was like, Keanu. <laughs> yes. I don't think I've ever seen that. That's the I, bus I movie, right? It's the bus. Yes, it is the bus movie. Yeah. There's a bomb on Oh, the wait. Bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen it. I've seen it. The one with Keanu Reeves and Sandy Anyway, for, so for the, the, the comic book uh, category, it. it just, it, I feel like every category has at least one thing that just like makes me want to tear my hair out. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> killing me. I get it. I'm, I'm, I think I'm with you on that so far. Winter and by the way, Soldier. the Spider Man that you see in rank 10 is the it's original. Toby. Yeah, that's the original. Yeah, Not that should have been higher. Yeah. Far from Home one's 12. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm fine yeah. with that. But Spider Man should have been higher, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, there's an argument. Which should have been, been higher? Well, Benny? Days of Future Past. Spider Man, right. that Toby Maguire one should have been above. X Men. Shut up. In my opinion, X Men like, movie was no, the best. The best Far from Home movie is a made. much better Spider Man movie. No. Or Homecoming, not Far from I Home. feel like the original Spider Man does, doesn't age well. Oh, it does. It doesn't it, age horribly it's either. It's, though. It's, it's nostalgic, but it doesn't age well for me. I mean, I I, I see what you're saying, but you it's still entertaining. Well it's still entertaining, dude. I sure. feel for Spider Man. He builds for the bottom feeder of this list. The OG Batman. Oh, yeah. OG Batman. And probably for the same reason, Danny yeah. Elfman. When you lock onto a Danny Elfman score, you love that movie for life. For life! Yeah, I, I, had, I had Winter Soldier at three. I had Dark Knight at one, and I had Avengers at two. And the reason I had Dark Knight at one is because that was the movie that made me realize that, like, Wow, movies can make you feel things, which I think is sad to say like about scared Dark Knight. Of clowns. <laughs> but I was just, yeah, I was just like, I don't know, maybe twelve, and it, Dark Knight just came on TV, and it was the second time I'd seen it because the first time I saw it was in Spanish, in in a movie theater. So I like halfway paid attention to it, and then I saw it like at midnight at my grandma's at my grandparents' place, and it was like, this movie's unbelievable. Yeah, so, I thought for for Dark Knight for me it made me realize that not only can comic book movies be not not good but amazing but also they can change the comics a certain extent to make it not only believable but to make it like accept more uh, more viewable i guess more, yeah, more um... satisfying to watch so everything that they changed in the dark knight compared to the comics i felt was worthy and was really tailored to that movie very well and then also it's just it's one of my favorite movies of all time so yeah he fudger just knocks it out of the park yep yeah oh one my the, god one and of the best performances that? of all time period yep. it's up there academy award winning yep dude that guy is crazy anyway uh, still blows me away winter soldier's not up there but uh, you know <laughs> what you gonna do the water I'm amazed no Superman movie made it on. Not Why? Superman sounds overrated. Yep. I mean, I guess. I mean, I, I had the older <laughs> Superman. I had the older Superman mo- movies at uh at my number eight. And the I, 80s I, I ones think, or? Yeah, the, the ones with uh, Reeves. What's his name? Keanu Reeves. No, not Keanu, Keanu Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher not Reeves. Christopher. Way back when, Reeves, when yeah. Keanu Reeves was Superman. <laughs> and to be fair, those are regarded as the best and while they were great movies they don't hold a candle to some of the ones that are on yeah it's, it's true oh, yeah. honestly I, I it probably would have been a, an important thing but it wouldn't have made the top 10 so. yeah I, I think i had it on my list just because it was superman and i felt like i had to have him up there but i had it at number eight it was the bottom yeah. okay well um as we move on to the next uh topic uh winston por que tan seria? Why so serious? Why so serious? Hey, man, look at that. No, porque tan seria? Serio. Eh, porque seria? Serio. Serio. Porque tan so seria? I don't know. What, what am I doing? What? Oh, all, I got, all I got was porque. <laughs> I, I love that they're correcting Korean. me. It's serio for a male. I know what I'm doing. Yes. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, I'm talking drama. to the room, and instead of addressing the room as masculine, I'm dressing the room as feminine. There you go. Because the majority of 
<laughs> of everybody here are females. No, it, it, it just, just says about room. how Frank just uses. In that room. <laughs> All right, under drama. How many people are in your room, Winston? Huh? How many people are in the room you're in right now? Yes, including the dog. No people. <laughs> What's the people? You're, you're looking yeah. at him. And as far as I can tell, uh, Miriam's winning. She's had way more burns than you, so. <laughs> Get some aloe, man. <laughs> Just on the drama. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 just you just prompted all the uh, sunburns. <laughs> like, just had flashbacks. Uh, Danny should invest in some too. <laughs> the drama category, Breakfast Club came number one. A little have, surprising. Any of you younger ones seen Breakfast Club? Do you like? I it? have. It was, yes. it was my have. number eight. It was I. I parts of it. <laughs> all I know. Don't all you. I know is the little. Right at the Forget end. About That's me. it. That's all I you know. And the end. <laughs> yeah, I remember Great watching movie. that movie, and then because I watched it like a year or two ago, and then talking to my mom like, "Why is this such a huge movie?" So, for me, for me, it was number eight. But I understand that people love it <laughs> as as the list reflects. Okay. Interesting. Number two is the Notebook. Boo! 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 My, wife, my wife is gonna kill me. Boo! I, don't I say boo, but that was my number seven. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was my number six. As his wife is off screen, <laughs> just waiting to punch him. Yep. Number three is Inception. Dude, I hate that I haven't seen that movie yet. What? It's on. Oh, it's on Netflix. Netflix. Everyone. Yeah. Dude, I know it's on Netflix, but I get distracted and it's with all the show so that I don't have to good. It's so you gotta good. Watch that, Danny. You I've been watch. to your house twice, and every time we started it, you got distracted and put something else on. And I've been to Diego's house multiple times, and we started it, and then at the 30 minute mark, he put something else on. No, dude. Next <laughs> time, time you come, come, 30 next minutes. Time you come <laughs> if you still haven't seen it, you're watching it with me, and we are watching Danny, it. I would love next to. Next time it. somebody puts it on, just hide all the remotes and all the controllers, okay? And then they can't change it. I'm doing that in your house, too. <laughs> or watch it on your phone if it's on Netflix. I, I mean, mean, honestly. Honestly. Dude, I can't get it. It's hard. hard. <laughs> okay. Why did he walk away? He's doing it. He's doing it. He's walking away. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm walking away from this group forever. Yeah. yeah he's like, I haven't seen the Inception. Number I can't. four is The Truman Show. Yeah. I've never seen that. Yeah, it's awesome. It's, it's weird. I think yeah, it's, it's, awesome. it's I think it's higher than it should be on this list because there's I agree with that. a couple of other movies here that should be higher. Specifically uh, Pursuit of Happiness. Yeah. Well, uh, Goodwill Hunting should be higher oh, or Scum oh, should be higher. I don't think so. I I feel that I think that that has prestige. already I even though I was trying to stay um uh, as impartial as possible, just my influence from previous years had a lot of influence on my family because a lot of my family members voted that high. It, it's a good. It, uh, that being said, that was my number four, but I had those other <laughs> movies. I think it was oh, way higher than it should have been. I voted it exactly no, where it was. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. I, what I meant is that there are movies that should have been above it. That, that, that is what like we're the working. prestige. The prestige should have oh been number God. two. That's a good movie. This was surprising. Get a notebook. We're we're almost getting there. Goodwill Hunting, as was mentioned, is number five. So great. I love show it. Just glad it's it. in there. Pursuit that was my number five. Number six. That should be Passed away. Number seven. Wilson. Yep. And another top <laughs> movie, Forrest Gump, number eight. I Good can't thing. believe Forrest Gump is number eight. That was my number two. That blows yeah, me away. All right, movie. You know, it's my four. Yeah. Something like that. The uh, honorable mentions are what's worth mentioning here. What Dreams May Come. Never seen it. Probably one of the uh, best of Robin Williams' performances. <laughs> oh, Robin Williams, isn't that? I gotta watch that. Yeah. And uh, The Prestige. Which, in oh, exactly. Miriam's words, should have been higher than The Notebook. I love yeah. that movie. I that think you would find agreement in this room. Yes. <laughs> yes. It should have been replaced with the But we we were not the only voters. We yeah. only show, we only express a selection of the voters. Yeah. Which I th I think is great. I think it's great cuz it wouldn't be as interesting if we didn't have if everything went according to plan basically. <laughs> according to your plan. 
That being said, Blade Runner, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez, I'm never gonna get over it. Now this number one, I am super happy about. Yes. Yes. The sizable lead itself. Princess Bride is the number one movie in in families. Well, that's that okay. Good. It's a good movie. Love that I don't movie. know about number one, but it's a good movie. Inconceivable. What, what was your number one? My number one was uh, Ferris, Bueller Day's, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Okay, so it's still on the I list. I finished that movie. Don't finish really it. Weird. Number two was Mrs. Doubtfire. How do we feel about that? <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. That's hilarious. That is ridiculous. Number three is E.T. Yep. Yeah. E. I think um, where did I um, have E.T. I had E.T. at e, I had E.T. at seven, but I think that was like my pick. Eric loves this. Woo! Number four was Hook. Hook. Yeah. Hook. Yep. Where's That's the good. hook? hook. Amazing. Hook. Where's good. the hook? What's this? You have to explain this. What is this? Pushing his head. Oh, okay. Whose head? My Your head. head. Okay, I was like, me head? Me head. <laughs> squishing me head. All right. Home head. Alone is number five. Yeah. Goonies is number six. Goonies ah, never say die. My list is so different from this <gasps> list. <laughs> Goonies is awesome. Seventh is Ferris Bueller's Day Off. As a yeah. And number eight is Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I, I got some. On. So so. I uh, Miriam has never seen Willy Wonka the original, which oh. is the only one worth watching. Yeah, and that's, the, <laughs> that's the one represented on this list. Yes. Yeah, obviously, I, I, I agree. And I start we started watching it, and I don't know. For me, that's like, like at least double. Like, it's way better than the other one, right? Oh yeah, <laughs> and she didn't it's like it. At not all. even comparable. You know what? It's she had to take me. She she wanted me to take it off. I'm like. This hey, I didn't take it off. I lost the interest when I walked away. <laughs> Look, <laughs> you know this, is, actually... this is the explanation that I, I can come up with. If you haven't seen the first one, the first, the original Willy Wonka, then the second one isn't, at, the, the remake isn't as insulting. If you watch the remake without having any idea on what it is, then it's like just kind of a, a weird, maybe kind of fun movie. But if you See, watch the second one after seeing the first one, then that's where it really just loses it. Yeah. yeah. Winston, the funny- I would agree with that, except I would double down and say, if you haven't seen the first movie, you're not a real human being. <laughs> <laughs> Winston, what you should have done was like, Miriam, come here. And then you should have been like, if you want to view... Just the music is awesome. Yeah. Simply look around. For me, it's, <laughs> for me, it's kind yeah, of at the funny. Beginning, at the beginning of the movie, uh, there's that... Everyone's candy a shop. pedophile! <laughs> there's that candy shop, and the guy's like, the candy man can, you know, and everything. And I'm like, yeah, like, obviously she's heard that song. I'm like, yeah, that came from this movie. For me, I'm it's sorry. funny because the Depends first on, Willy Wonka right? has a more lighter tone yeah. to it, and the second they're Willy all, Wonka they're all, has a darker tone. All with the kids being like, I got you, Danny. You I, got you. Candy, <laughs> man. I thought, I thought Winston like, would like uh, the darker tone like uh, Willy Wonka instead of the lighter like, tone. Oh, that's not what you want to show your kids after telling <laughs> them the character's name. Fair enough. Okay. Never ending story and Karate Kid our honorable mentions on this list. Oh, man. Karate Which Kid is crazy when you think about it, but the eight movies are the eight movies. Above Which me. Karate Kid were we talking about? The oh, oh, geez. The Sweep the leg, Johnny. Not the black kid one. Wipe on, wipe off. Have you guys seen that? Wax on, wax off. Yeah. Close enough. <laughs> wipe on, wipe off. <laughs> I realized I messed that up for a moment. Daniel, son, clap on, clap off. <laughs> Uh, Have you guys seen uh, the uh, YouTube uh, show that continues a Karate Kid story? I can't remember Cobra what it's called. Kai. Cobra Kai. Have, have you guys seen that yet? I haven't not. seen it. No. I, I, you have? Is it any so, good? Yeah. Oh, it's really good. It's so yeah, that's what I hear. I really it, it I hear it's coming good. to uh, Netflix soon, too. I'm, I'm excited about it. <laughs> good. Sweet. How exciting. It's, it's comedy, but it's still dr- it still has a lot of dramatic elements to it. It's nice. So it's a dramedy. Cool. All right. Historical. Ba-bam. 
which you think wouldn't be cause for contention, but you can immediately see celebrations and looks of disappointment. <laughs> Such this a good one, movie. The number one so movie good. in historical, which seems to have been voted number one by like half of the group. Not this half. The Count, <laughs> yeah, no. the Count, oh. the Count of oh. Monte Cristo. Yeah! This movie's amazing. I haven't even seen this movie. Yeah, you're weird. Well, How can you sure. say that? Okay. <laughs> oh no, you're killing Winston's brain! I need to watch it. I need to watch it. How have you not seen this movie? It's so <laughs> good. Winston's sitting there, he's like, You were the best man at my wedding! What happened? <laughs> we had this play yeah, at our wedding! <laughs> we uh, take it back! I just, I missed. This is just a movie I've missed. I just, no, it's dude, like movie, The Godfather. I feel that this would be, especially if you watch the old ones and then this actual one with Jim Caviezel and, um, what's the other actor? Uh, guy said, Pierce, yeah, that I just said earlier. You would, you would like this guy? probably as much as you like Blade Runner. No, yeah, not for <laughs> not for the science fiction element, but for as much as like, oh wow, that's a really well tightly round, wound story. Because think about it, yeah. the yeah. elements of Blade Runner come from a, a Philip K. Dick book. Mm, yeah, and the parts that you like about that movie are the parts that really rise from that book. Count of Monte Cristo is one of uh, Alexander Dumas's best books. Yeah, and it's because of that same tight uh, writing. Type of and the and the newest movie tends to lean a little bit more towards the book, whereas the older movies are more theatrical. Yeah, she like a toyker. Yeah, so I wouldn't. Be, I I'm not saying you'd like it exactly the same because Blade Runner is like your favorite movie, but you would like it on that theme, on that level. Yeah, for me and okay. my brother, this movie is like. It's amazing. It's it's one of like it's one of the movies that we agree upon that is one of the best movies of all time for us specifically. It just uh, I don't know. We we both think it's extremely well done. And also we saw it quite a bit later than like we didn't see it any time near when it came out. We saw it quite a few years afterwards, and we had no idea what the movie was about or anything. We just threw it on and watched it at the end. We're like whoa how have we not heard about this movie so really yeah. good that's good i, have I to don't watch remember it. yeah i, have to I don't remember this movie even my, my brother this okay, is I think, one of his favorite movies of all time or just stories of all time so i need because i think he watched the anime version of this of this story yeah that's an episode idea winston top Five anime versions of actual movies. <laughs> there you go. It has a weird art style. How many seen the anime be? version, but it's weird. Oh, I'm sure there's a bunch. Have you seen the Star Wars one? Uh, Have you seen the Halo stuff? Yeah, oh, we can see that pretty Halo deep, bro. There's a Mass Effect one too. Yep. There's a Mass Effect, Matrix. There's eight. Uh, it technically was an anime first, but uh, that one with Scarlett Johansson. Oh, yeah. Uh, Those. Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell. Yeah, 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 the show. That. yeah uh, I think that's not an anime take. Nah, on the I think the movie was a movie take oh, on the oh, anime. A bunch of the X Men movies, no? Yeah, yeah. Those, There's anime versions of those too. Yeah, <laughs> Batman Ninja. <laughs> oh I, that was God. a joke, and now it's kind of a cool idea. Put that in your <laughs> in your head. Yeah, right. Well, I, I speaking of Alexandre means... Dumas, the second yeah. uh, number two movie is Three Musketeers. Yeah, that was a great uh, movie. Musketeers. Also not on my list. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you nate your middle name is alexander you gotta pour yourself into this man dude i wanted to read the count of monte cristo but that book is like as thick as the bible dude i <laughs> can't read that book <laughs> where are the lord of the rings books that i'm gonna read i i did i forgot but then i remembered just now when you said something, so i gotta tell those to you i am so sorry i've been waiting all week <laughs> he's printing them out <laughs> I'm, I'm rewriting them and then i'll print them out to you i'll get them to you i'll get them to you handwritten right manuscript number three <laughs> is titanic this because it's eight. titanic yeah yeah this is one that i put on the list because i had to it was number eight uh, yeah, it, there's an obligation. I'll never let yeah, go of that. So long. <laughs> Did I put this on my list? I don't remember. Number four is Apollo 13. That was also my number four? That was a really cool That's movie. one after 12. Well, you hit it dead on. Number five is Pride and Prejudice. Overrated, I think. Oh, oh my prejudices. Dude. I watch it. 
but he's really a, prideful. So that's, that's why he died on our <laughs> That was my number six. <laughs> Schneider's my number six, just like <laughs> Nate's feeling of number five, is Schindler's List. <laughs> that was my number one. Schindler's. That was your number Schindler's one. List is really good. Hey, teach their own. This blew Eric's mind you're crazy eric number seven is the ten commandments that was my number two i love that movie i, have, I, I didn't know I that was a movie. movie i don't think i've ever seen it it's great dude and ben horror was my number seven what's shocking to me is eric's never seen it eric watches tv more than any two human beings i've ever known <laughs> and they showed ten commandments every year yep. around the easter time that's when i would watch since it. we were since before we were born it's on great. NBC. I only it's had cable. Great. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have the basic channels. <laughs> Dude, this is Ten is Commandments it? and Ben Hur is why I like Charlton Heston so much. This would have been great movies. I I like him best in uh, um, Planet of the Apes. But another one. These yeah. other these these two another. made me like him as an actor. Yeah. Because he, he really shows his range. Um and then eight is Pearl Harbor. Pearl in the that, Harbor. That was my number that three. Was, <laughs> that should have been higher on the list, in my opinion. I, I'm not surprised people say that. It's it's uh, even though it's as expensive, or if not more, it's the poor man's version of Titanic. Yeah. Big epic real thing with a love triangle in the middle. I'm yep. surprised Braveheart didn't make it. They, Honorable they mentions. It Braveheart. Fine. Yeah. And Gladiator. No. Gladiator. Gladiator. Gladiator was my number five. I still haven't seen that. Eric, what Gladiator or Blizzard? Just told me uh, Gladiator. Ago about Gladiator. Gladiator is a movie that has uh, Russell Crowe in it. You're fading out. And uh, he has a beard. And uh, it he takes kills uh, your Joaquin feelings Phoenix. on it. When we were talking it about it in the room. It takes place in, uh, in uh, gladiatorial <laughs> times. And uh, some stuff happens and people die. A lot of gore. And I was like, whoa, that's a lot of blood. And I was like, I don't know if I like this. And then there was more blood. And I was like, oh, man, I really don't like this. And then somebody said, off. And I was like, whoa, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> Eric isn't about the blood. He is about decapitation. Yeah, just remember yeah. I also would point out that the ending was controversial for Eric, too. It probably it, came out of that age I, of where he didn't I agree. The, the lead to die. Who was there? Yep. I think she tried to jump up to the window and she just I, uh, I I completely agree with you, Eric, about the ending. Um, I don't love the ending. I don't hate it, but it definitely doesn't make the movie better. Come on, I mean, come on. He gets stabbed in the kidneys. I know. It's just weird. It's still, still the kill Joaquin. the Joaquin. Like he's still How dare Joaquin do but something? It's like, like we that. just watch a movie of flipping Russell Crowe murdering every single person in the flipping arena, and then Joaquin Fatty Boy Phoenix comes out. And <laughs> Joaquin. <laughs> Fatty Boy Phoenix. <laughs> he is in that movie. In that movie, he is. A little tough. Isn't that, up to that point, I'd only seen him in two things. As a kid, he plays the kid who, uh, uh, in Parenthood, you've got to see Parenthood with Steve Martin. He's got, like, hidden porn somewhere, and his mom thought he was doing drugs. She's like, oh, I'm fine with it. He's like, what? And, and then this movie, and I was like, guy's got range. <laughs> he can play this weird kid, and he could play an evil guy. And no, now he's our Joker, guys. Yeah, he's he's definitely a good actor. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, swing away, swing away. One of his best. That is one of his best roles. That'll always be my favorite. And we'll get to that. Yeah, we'll get there. This next musicals. One, this, I love this what? next category. Awesome. Really? What? The prize grease made. Number one, one. and, and this is tied for the highest score with Avengers. Love it. 104 I, points. Love it. Grease. Love it. <laughs> Nate, was, Nate, hold on. Wait, Nate, you love this category? No, I love that Grease is number one. I'll give a crap oh, okay, about this okay. category. Oh, I, I like right, this category like, okay. because just, just Grease so, is number just so one. The audience that we have uh, understands the context. Nate. <laughs> Has been against musicals for as long as I have known him. He's like, yeah, he only wait, likes wait, wait. Avita. Wait, he's like, wait, is that movie a musical? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, what's the? Wait, you gonna, gonna watch up? Is that a musical? No. Mm -mm. What's the? It's I, important I, to remember too that he was in a band with you, and he was your lead <laughs> guitarist, and he hates musicals. <laughs> Winston, I've just made a discovery about myself. You're I love Greece. <laughs> <I was gonna laughs> Listen, 
I love Grease. There was a moment in time in my young childhood where Grease was my favorite movie of all time. Oh, and wow. I realized Grease has set the bar so high that every other musical might as well be trash on the ground. And that right. might be the reason why I don't like musicals. All right, but have you watched so every other musical on the ground? Well, ha- Hamilton is, is an exception, but Hamilton is a movie, so that's why it's not on this list. <laughs> I, got one, I got one of my... And to be fair, it shows. It shows because a lot of people feel the same way you do. Even if they like musicals, Grease still takes the cake. Yep, League of the Next highest is actually one of my personal favorite movies growing you know, up. Popping. And the points are still wildly different. It's 18 point spread. Eight point spread. I don't know how to do math. <laughs> I'm yeah, only I'm don't a, trust this. I only list. do math <laughs> at work. Mary Poppins is number two. Mary right. Mary Poppins. My number five. That's good. Bad. I don't think that was on my Phantom list. of the Opera. Phantom of the Opera was number three on, on the why are you in the ceiling? <laughs> All of a sudden, he took off his mic to yell at his oh, wife. Okay. Well, not yell at his wife. Yell to his wife. Kylan! Kylan! She's in a different room. She did vote on this list, and Phantom of the Opera was her number one musical, and I'm very happy to see it at, at, uh, at number three. It was that my was number four. Number four was Wizard of Oz, <laughs> which, which was my I'm number amazed. three. Yeah, I'm amazed it got so high. That movie is real creepy. Not worth it. It is weird. Better than Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. No, it's not. No, no it's no. not. Shut up, non-human. <laughs> she said Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That's the that's yeah. The Charlie new one. and the Chocolate Factory is the new one. It's garbage. Willy Wonka and the Shark Factory. Charker. Charker. You said the Shark Factory. <laughs> <laughs> Willy Wonka and the Shark Factory. <laughs> I watched yes, that movie. Yes, you don't go into the chocolate. <laughs> Get out of the chocolate. <laughs> it's a very different movie. We're going to need a bigger ladle. <laughs> <laughs> I was, why would I go with that? I was too. Lady I water. couldn't think of it. Either way, less creepy than pedophiles. <laughs> His name is pronounced Peter File. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Peter File. I'm Peter File. <laughs> Number <laughs> number five is Pitch Perfect. This movie sucked. My Not wife, on my list. My wife loves this movie to death. <laughs> and this so did sucks. many of the other uh, female voters. I actually don't oh. mind this movie. I find it entertaining. It's a lot like Glee. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's really Eric, not worth it. Just play it cool, boy. It's real cool <laughs> because West Side Story is number six. Yeah. Number two. You know, I still need to watch this movie. It's, I have listened to the soundtrack so many times, and I love the the music in this movie. Yeah. But I've never seen the actual movie. It's pretty good. You like for it. an oldie? It's pretty good. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, she remind me of the West Side Story. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up in Spanish Hala. Harlem. Harlem. I love the intro song changed, in that movie. Saying that wrong. Here's, we're almost to controversy, so let's touch on this. Number seven is The Sound of Music. My number six. Weirdest oh, movie. We've been higher. Dude. With the sound of music. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> They tried to cast me, but I wasn't no, old enough. No, there was time. no for you. That was decent falsetto. The decent falsetto. That was nice. Yeah, I could do a, a woman's falsetto. <laughs> <laughs> it comes out great. The, the male one doesn't come out so well. Super Sadia over here too, man. <laughs> and it's a room full of men. <laughs> the hills, the hills over there. Um, number eight is actually tied with number nine. Oh, oh man, that. Eric's dreams came true, and the greatest showman took number eight. No. no. I think this better should be put to a vote. Yes, Let Me Set Up is a better movie. Lay Miz. I yeah, hate Lay Miz with a passion. What? Why? Lay Miz was my number seven. Let me demonstrate was that for you. Was too sad for you, Eric? I <laughs> am sitting in a chair now <laughs> with my eyes. They are closed now. 
<laughs> my eyes are open now. I see everything in front of me. Oh, look a penny. Oh, a nice shiny penny. I must pick it up. <laughs> All right, somebody needs to write a musical for Eric. But (laughs) newish. Okay, cards on the table. Miriam looks really entertained by that. She's like, I could listen to this all day. (laughs) I'm trying to hide my anger. (laughs) Trying to hide. You're you're doing well, Jedi. It's all singing, but all the time. If you feel like Eric got the better end of that. Realize that the other top mention is Little Shop of Horrors, uh, one of his dude, favorites. That was a great movie. I loved that musical. I haven't seen it. Was oh, if it makes anybody feel better, one of my all-time dude, favorite if you musicals think, didn't even make it on the list. Yeah, dude, if you think you, you're going to like West Side Story, you're going to love Little Shop of Horrors if you watch it. When you... Oh, yeah. It's oh, yeah? I like super it. funny for me. Okay. Newsies, yeah. Newsies is off the list. Oh, I love Newsies. I know. Somebody, there was three I haven't seen votes. It. There was three votes and they voted it off. Meter. I don't know. Who Somebody do, come get her. She dancing like a tripper. Hey, bitch. Rom-com is an important category. <laughs> Son of a hitch. Whoa, hitch, hitch what? Hitch got me. number one. Whoa, that's crazy. I know. Every, I was putting in the numbers, and I was. It just kept popping up. I was like, everybody loves hitch. Oh yes, just friends is in. Thank you. I'm <laughs> glad. <laughs> <laughs> Number Ooh, two is 10 Things uh, I Hate About You. Woo! That was my number three. Great movie. Number Another Ledger. Heath Ledger. Do the same like, thing. incredible yeah. performance. Number three is The Proposal. That was my number five. That was a good, good poll. I think that number. was my number two or three. I can't remember. Plus, the list will be shorter. It, we, at this point, Eric and I can't not mention, how do you know, Danny? <laughs> I feel How do like I know you what? would have a better understanding of what your numbers are than you do. Dude, you know very well. Like, at a certain point, I was just like, I don't know Joe. any of these movies. It's like, I don't care about these movies. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Sounds great. But you should still chime in. We appreciate it. <laughs> Number four is Wedding Singer. Not, not on my list. Oh. I don't even know that movie. Number Such five is The movie. Reason for Nate's Excitement. Just Friends. Can never get enough Ryan Reynolds. Just can't get enough of him. He, he appears twice on the list. Enough, and you just can't get enough. 16 Candles is number six. Not on my list. Groundhog Day is number seven. My number I've four. Juno. Boo! I've never seen it. Not on my list. I don't like Juno. It's an interesting poll. I've seen two movies on this oh, list. <laughs> I've yeah, seen the majority of these. The Good movie. A bit of Pretty Woman. And Pretty Woman. And that's it. I see Hitch the and the Proposal. My Best that's Friend's it. Wedding. Why wasn't that one on there? My Best Friend's Wedding. Is was that uh, Anne yeah, Hathaway that and uh, the other one? No, it's Julia Roberts and this other dude. This the other guy dude. With the curly hit, this the other guy with curly Le- Leathery face. What's his name? Uh, leather face? <laughs> We still face? have no the the my best friend's wedding. That my best friend's good. wedding did not, not make, didn't make it. the rom com category. Uh, Where were you, Miriam? You were too busy trying to uh, uh, placate for I'm wild dogs. Trying to get a bunch of other ones <laughs> voted on, and none of them got voted for anyways. Oh, this... she got thirteen. Wild hogs. Wild hogs was like there was like four votes to get another. They, they didn't even. Oh. It didn't even matter. <laughs> you should have bribed some people then. <laughs> do that. I'm not going to cheat. I will give you one. The next category is sci fi and fantasy. And these top. You should save this for the figures. end, Frank. Frank, you should save this for the end. Oh, ooh, ooh, oh. That, that's ooh, the best ooh. list. Okay. So the, this list is not what I'm going to say. <laughs> not as good. <laughs> Edit that out. Edit that out. <laughs> and this is where we're going to go back in. So I have two other lists before our last list. <laughs> Ryan Seacrest's back. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to do that. Hi, Ryan. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Looking good, Ryan. Did you just, did you just get a spray tan? <laughs> well, yes, I did. Here are the other categories before the Orcs. one we want to talk about the most. 
man. Sports. In between, in between comedy, uh, uh, rom-coms, and sports, those are the three categories where I've seen pretty much no movies at all. This, in one, this one is heartbreaking for me because there's a movie I wanted on it, but I knew that it would not have made it to the top eight. I wanted Invincible in this list. But it would not have made it to the top eight. So I was like, I don't want to get my heart broken. I'll just accept the reality that well, people don't care about the Philadelphia Eagles as much as I do. Philadelphia Eagles and Marky Mark. It's what it is. You know what didn't make the list that should have probably was um, Ali as well? Ah, dude, I watched oh, Ali. Yeah. I mean, it's a great performance, but that movie's kind of paced weird, man. That movie's kind of weird. I never saw it. I was just, uh, it, it, it's it good. did good. It did. It's Will Smith's kind of hardest performance, but it's, it's, it's really, one of best. It's still yeah. really good. Yeah. But nevertheless, neither of those made it here, and this is what we're dealing with. Sandlot <laughs> is number one. I'm okay with that. Everybody it's loves Sandlot. Cool. I've never seen it. Sure. Oh, that's right. It's not really that. Dude, I don't consider it, it that it's a good. I don't know. You don't like happy movies, so. But it's a good <laughs> movie. Like good. Yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 it's happy. Good. It's funny. Uh, you're not gonna like any of those things. You know, big dog. It's it. about kids. You hate it's kids. A, it's a classic, <laughs> dude. There's you a know, scene where Stranger one Things drowns almost. Yeah, you hate drowns. Stranger hate Things drowns. gets a lot of its aesthetic and vibe from movies, just like Sandlot. Yeah, yeah uh, I felt that so much. You wouldn't be. But they're older, so it's okay. <laughs> dude, yes. Blindside. That was a Blindside is number two. That movie. makes sense. That one. That was a good movie. It's it's pretty good. Remember the Titans? Is this should have been number one. Such a good movie. It should have been number one. I agree with you, Miriam. Yeah. Remember the I Titans? Could say number one unbelievable. Yeah. Blind side, that, that's, that's a little bit of a tussle. Sandlot, too many people love it, man. Nope. Yeah, I mean, I, I get Sam it. Sandlot, like, it's, it's so like good. You got Denzel in it. Yeah, you only like it for the... For the You're killing me, Smalls! What's the, what's the word? Nostalgic value? There. That word. No. <laughs> that <laughs> word. Nope. <laughs> Because both of these came out when I was uh, I was a child. One when I was ten. One when I was maybe sixteen. I love them both. Sandlot is better. Because Sandlot has everything to do with the sport it's about and nothing at all. Whereas Remember the Titans is really tied into the sport. Yeah, it's true. And it's great. That's when a movie can awesome. do both things at the same time and be a sport that not everyone likes. Because I mean, baseball is a pastime, but who here? prefers baseball to football. Uh. Exactly. <laughs> and you guys aren't exactly uh, athletes. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, great. Wow. great. Oh, you got great. something to say, Frank? Nate, you're the best athlete here. All of us. It's, <laughs> yeah, maybe five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Now, here's the real important movie. And number four is La Pelicula de Michael Jordan. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Eric's getting ready to get started. Yes. This is my number two. Classic. This is my yep. number six. <laughs> God, Eric. Space Jam is important in everyone's lives. No. All right, no. <laughs> you got some. <laughs> you got some jams if you want to it's jam. It's my favorite Looney Tunes related piece of media. I like to friend Roger Rabbit. Yo, that's that's not one. really not Looney Tunes specific. That's everywhere. Well, no, I know, but I liked it better than Space. That didn't make the list. Like, kind of the same thing. That would have been sure. animated, I guess. Uh, Michael Jordan being dragged into a basketball game. Uh, a detective from uh, New Jersey being dragged into a murder investigation. Those are pretty much the same thing when I look at it. Yeah, but, but. <laughs> I meant what it the actual like what it is and what it does with the like animations and stuff. I would agree with that. Yeah, the the yeah l live action with animation interspliced. Yeah, I see. I see what you're talking about. I would even argue that, for what it's worth, the 1989 Who Framed Roger Rabbit does it better than 1995's It does Space Jam. But Michael Jordan, man, <laughs> and Bill Murray, Michael Jordan, Bill Murray, Bill Murray, and yes. Wayne Knight. There's a picture I have of Wayne Knight dressed in uh, Jurassic Park as every member of the Goonies, and it nice. holds up. He nice. can do anything. <laughs> uh, uh, number six is Mighty Ducks, too. Uh, you, you skipped Rocky. 
and, yeah, and, and that's because number five is Rocky. That's the whole reason number six is number six. Rocky was my number three. It's Rocky. Okay, and, explain and to me what's this. What's your Philly movie, by the way, Nate? Yeah, I, I know. C- explain to me this. Why that's does, why it's number three. <laughs> why does everybody love Rocky? Dude, have you seen Rocky 1? I have seen Yeah, it's not that good. Dude, Rocky 1's great, man. It's Ooh, good. Loses. Nobody wants yeah, to see so Blade Runner. But he barely loses, and it's flipping awesome. Hey, Winston, did you like Creed, the first Creed? That I liked came out? Creed more. It's the same movie, just older. Well, oh, and God, actually, oh, it's more, uh, more earnest. Whereas uh, uh, Creed is good, but it's a little convoluted. It and, it it, and it I did it. And it relies on the same thing that a lot of it. movies now do, where it's like, and then this happened, and then this happened, and then this happened, and then this happened. You're like, a lot of things had to happen to make this work. Whereas Did, Rocky's just Rocky. When we edit this, can I we guess, but I don't know. I think it. I think it's just <laughs> the thing. The reason why I don't like Scarface because the main character is just over the last. Last two months, I've lost about 20 pounds, which blows my mind. What is, what is what happening? Are you, what are you doing? <laughs> I forgot I was sharing the whole time. Too, man. I wish I <laughs> all I heard was, like, Winston talking. Dude, Rocky. I just hear all the whole, like. Rocky so isn't good. stupid. He's just, like, kind of simple. Yeah, yeah, almost kind of simple. Like, he doesn't make guy, bad you know? decisions. He just Winston doesn't, doesn't understand know that simple. much. <laughs> That's why, bro. Also, the soundtrack is flipping unbelievable. Everything just stands out. Okay. Also, a movie that shouldn't be that good. Yeah, did didn't Rocky win the Oscar for Best Picture? Uh, was nominated. We're gonna find out. It was definitely nominated, and I think it won. French, pull up the tallies. Yep, it won Best. Am I crazy? Yeah, it won Best Picture over Star Wars. I think. I know that's not possible. Best picture winner. Yeah. Mm. Best director winner. Best film editing winner. Sylvester was nominated. Burgess Meredith was nominated. Burt Young, nominated. Talia Shire, nominated. Sylvester wrote this movie, nominated. Best sound mixing, nominated. I did hear it, bro. Uh, I heard dude, something it's, about this movie. It's that, a boxing movie, bro. And it won three Oscars. I, I, I apparently just don't get it. Well, like, I, I think it's a good movie, but I don't think it's fantastic. Yeah. You, I really don't think it's it was like you said, worth it. You don't get it. It's, it's amazing. I don't want to hear that. All right. What's next? Now, D2. It's been so long since I've seen that movie. Triple D. It, yeah, same for me. The League of Their Own? Uh, I've never it's, seen that. Not, not on my list. Another one my wife loves. Women playing baseball? No. The Replacement. Woohoo! I love that I've movie. I've never seen that one. Never seen it. Keanu! It's, a, it's, a, it's entertaining. Honorable Mentions? Waterboy. <laughs> that should have been on the. Yeah, yeah, I'm amazed bench warmers didn't make it, and I'm amazed. I, I'm just amazed, but bench warmers didn't make it. I think a, a lot of these movies you could have put in like um, comedy or even maybe animated, but I think the sports category just needed needed <clears throat> help. It need because there really aren't too many sports movies. It's because sports suck. No. <laughs> you don't. You Start don't. all you athletes yeah, yeah. out there watching right. it that aren't going to subscribe now. I know, right? Well They're said, like, nerd. Uh, uh, yeah, I was, I was about to subscribe to these guys, but now that one guy made that. Next. That was the thing that put me over. Nope. Not going to happen now. <laughs> like anyone's even going to watch this. You don't know. You don't, you don't set your expectations. We, yes, well, right. One day like we'll be big, and they're gonna like. I wonder what the second episode of this podcast was, <laughs> and then they're gonna. Look they're, up gonna they're like, uh, it took it. It t- probably took them some time. We should we should call <laughs> it the, the, the oddcast. <laughs> Nate Benchwarmers came in twenty first. Damn, nobody. Okay, that must just be me. I must be the only one that likes Benchwarmers. I like that movie. It's just I like other movies. 
The bench that, warmers? Well, I thought he was in there too, no? Not better. <laughs> All right, thrillers. Guys with the second most votes in a movie that I disappointingly what? showed to Winston, and he was like, meh, I've seen better. And then I killed him. You're looking at a clone right now. <laughs> Signs took the number like one spot. So Signs oh. was my number six. Number two should have been number yeah. one. Yeah. Yes, I agree with that. So good. And I what, what's what's interesting is it's only 23 points behind it. Number two <laughs> should have been number two. Number two is right where it should be at. I don't. Uh, Quiet I don't Place remember. is number two. Quiet Place is just a really Red well Fox crafted movie. Signs blows honestly, you away. Honestly, no, it a Quiet Place doesn't happen without signs. They're kind of the same. Yeah, movie. they a Quiet Place is inspired by a Watch ton it. of stuff that Signs did. No, but I know it. You know every you, you read and. He's about to insult he me for spoils it's everything for himself. <laughs> Did you watch the movie, Frank? No, I read about it. You know, I got the synopsis. <laughs> ruined it Eric, sometimes that's all the time you have. You know? No. Read. No. <laughs> like, yeah, I feel like, like oh, you read. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like pick up a no. book if you want to read. Like, <laughs> I feel like eighty percent of the stuff like, that Winston talks to me about is like. No, I haven't seen it, but I know what you're talking about because of that reason. <laughs> exactly. Gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Th unfortunately, this is not the group to, to take, take me to task on. They all do the same thing I do. What is wrong with <laughs> all of you? Watch the movie. Number three yes, is Jaws. It's not that. Yeah. Jaws, Jaws was Jaws. my. Ooh, Jaws was not in my list. <laughs> I think that was my eighth. Come on. First blockbuster ever. I know. I mean,. I'm not, yeah. If I wanted to make a list for like, oh, what does everybody like? My list would be totally different. My lists were for me personally. And that's important. Yes, we Number not. four is The Sixth Sense. E, it's, it's that was not, really not a huge movie. fan of that movie. Yeah, it wasn't that good. No, never mind, never mind. I'm thinking of um, The Fifth Element. I don't know why I always get those titles because confused. Because Bruce Willis is in both. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sixth Sense it is a good movie, but it was not on my list. But it is that a good movie. That was a really wacky movie. A good whack. You know what I mean? Wait, I'm dead? There's... there's oh, good spoilers. Whack. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like the top movie you're not supposed, supposed to spoil. It's the second movie. It's it's I Am Your Father, and then it's He Was Dead the Whole Time. Right? <laughs> Don't confuse those. Yeah. Number five. My father was silence. dead the whole time? Number five is Silence of the Lambs. I get I it. Still I still need to watch this movie. That movie. I, I, I still feel need like to watch like this movie, it. and I really want to watch it. Also not on my list, but I, I understand its placement. Hey, Winnie, let's watch that one, and then afterwards we'll watch Inception. Dude, I'm so down. Come on. Come on and over. As always, I am conflicted Do about it. the number six selection. Blows me away. The Village. Never seen Dude, it. Dude, I so am so good, surprised this is on the list. Making Mel Brooks and M. Night Shyamalan Shyamalan. the only directors to have three movies nice. on this li on their lists for, uh, in in the category. Yeah. That's this impressive. movie has huge flaws, but it, it's my number four. So uh, I, what, what, what Eric said, so good, but so bad. 80% of that movie is my favorite movie he's ever done. Yep. <laughs> then the rest is... And then the rest is the worst movie he's ever done. <laughs> when, when I was a kid, I watched this movie. Not like a super young kid, but I watched this movie. And I'm not sure if I point. fell asleep or my parents thought it you ended. You fell asleep, Nate. <laughs> but, no, no, no. <laughs> but I watched this movie up to the point, and I'm about to spoil it. That statement but, was the village of statements. You should have just finished that I fell asleep. <laughs> I watched this movie up to the point where Bryce said that Dallas Howard falls off the other side of the wall and then the cop drives up, drives up, and then that's where the movie ended for me. And I thought the movie ended that way for like eight years until I was talking about it with like Frank. And he was like, that's not how that movie life. ends. Yeah, what like, a dream that would have been. That I'm movie, like, the movie you explained is awesome. <laughs> Snyder cut. <laughs> exactly. We just Snyder cut at that movie. <laughs> yes. But it's still a good movie. A Schneider cut of the village. I don't think he just goes in, that. chops it there. He's like, "Give me hey, twenty million dollars." Catch me if you can is number seven. Yeah, great movie. Never this is it. my number oh, one. Leo and Tom Hanks at their peaks. 
Great story. Love it. Leo! No way! I just realized the movie that didn't make it on this list. No! Okay, continue. Sorry. What, what is it? it? Care to say? Seven. Seven didn't make it on the list? That's... It's that an honorable mention. Talk about it in a second. Of all time. Dude, Ooh, talk about mention. it in a second. Hang on. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. I hey, have Eric. Thoughts. I didn't kill my wife. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight is The Fugitive. Not yeah. I've never seen it. From Harrison Ford. And a one. Yeah, it's man. good. It's not on my list. Oh, it's so good. What's honorable interesting, mention? and I forgot this until I looked at this list that we're about to say it, technically, M. Night's jumping out in front. Um, That's four. Mel Brooks. Yeah. Because one of the honorable mentions is unbreakable. No, but it's an honorable mention. It doesn't count. Are honorable mentions going to be in the tournament? Uh, no, they're not. But they, wow. They don't count. To, count. to catch a top 10, we had other Mel Brooks movies. They uh, weren't. Uh, okay. I see what 10. you're saying. I see. It is impressive. Yeah. Most. Um, it's just like it's and then number seven, or number 10, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> seven, seven. Number 10 is number seven. <laughs> hey, Winston. Hey, Winston. What's in the box? <laughs> I don't know. What's in not, the box? not seven. <laughs> not seven. Look, that's what's not in the box. Seven. Damn it! That movie is so good. I it's, love it. To death. It's a good movie. It was my number five, but that movie is so horrible to watch that yeah. I'm glad I don't have to think about it for the rest of that this movie. No, that's why. I also love that you were really putting uh, Silence on the Lambs uh, <laughs> right on there. You're like, right. I'll watch that instead. I don't have to think about seven. We're like. You're you'd be eating people, yo. Listen, you're gonna you'd be eating have nightmares people. no matter what movie. But like you know what Silence of the Lambs is about, right? It's Dude. not about some like Mary and her <laughs> lambs. <laughs> it's about a dude sure eating about some people. I think I think I some have, okay? some huge misses in this list um, are The Departed. I can't believe it didn't make it up. Great movie with Leo and Mark Wahlberg and Matt Damon. Another one. I, I guess I guess this one might might have just been me, but Shutter Island, another Leonardo DiCaprio movie. That is absolutely uh, a fantastic uh, movie. Yep, awesome movie, and uh, I'm I, it's sad that uh, it's not on there. At least as an honorable mention. Uh, where are we at? Departed was number thirteen <laughs> in the middle again. Yeah, and I'm that, surprised. What's interesting? I, I learned something about Felicia. That, that was her pick. number one pick. Dude, it's great. Yeah. And it's very it actually almost didn't make the list. Yeah. Like, was, I forgot Jack, Jack Nicholson. It. Jack Nicholson was another one. Yeah, was I was I on that list? Uh, right in between there, Nate, is, is my heartbreak, my favorite movie. Number 14 is The Usual Suspects. So. Oh, uh, yep, yep. Kevin Spacey, man. <laughs> awesome. Now to the category that you've all been waiting for that you've been waiting category for. above all other categories our favorite cereals <laughs> <laughs> anybody preferred My underwear <laughs> brand oh <laughs> who's the best there you go five favorite cereal mascots there we go oh it's a pretty good one Sci-fi and fantasy that. turned out almost exactly the way you would have expected oh. a group of nerds to do sci-fi and fantasy, despite the fact that yep. all of us were trying not to I, do exactly what we thought we were going to do. You may <laughs> notice <laughs> that the that. number one sci-fi movie is Star Wars. Star Wars. Empire Strikes Back. My number two. You may Where also notice that the be. number two is Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. My number three. If you hadn't noticed those two, you may notice that number three is Jurassic Park. My Ooh. number four. If you hadn't noticed those top three, number four is Back to the Future. And to round out, uh, haven't you noticed, top five, The Matrix. I don't know. Independence Day is pretty good. Still haven't seen it. <laughs> the only difference. From there, we start to get yeah. back into the numbers. And the, the reason I did that is because 97, 85, 85, 78, yeah. 67. After that, you really start to have the drop off. Yeah. The only difference between my top five and the, um, the group's top five is I had Blade Runner at number one. And I didn't have the Back to the Future in, in my top five. That and was the I, only we difference. could go back to the list, but I think that's pretty much everyone's. Is that they said, well, let me choose my actual favorite sci-fi movie. And I'll put that in the top five. And then four of the other five will make it in there. 
Yep. And so the five, top five was the top five. And then <laughs> some of these were some of everyone else's favorite movies. Yep. Independence Day is number six. No. Arguments? Not. Liking it? It's great. No, I flip and love it. Welcome Jeff Goldblum. Flip and Welcome to Earth. Uh, Will Smith. The highest grossing movie the year I was born. Great movie. Number seven is Star Trek. That would be Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. My number that, six. I have not seen it, but I can guarantee that should be lower. No, dude, you're crazy. It's, it's Avatar movie. wasn't better than that movie? No, it's not. Wow, you whack. We just saw an old school Star Trek or new? Old school. Oh, we did. Oh. Okay. I thought it was. I thought we were voting on the new Star Trek. Yeah, I, I, actually like those, I actually like those movies. The new, the new Star Trek. Star Trek. I, do. <laughs> I actually like those movies. I'm not going to lie. I'm with Winston on this. And we can always revisit it before we actually make the, 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 uh, the bracket. But this vote was based on the original cast because the J.J. Abrams, I, I almost said Jar Jar. The Jar Jar Abrams. <laughs> Ew. The Jar Jar Abrams. He's a little bit too controversial. Ew. Really? Huh. Okay. So. You are uh, personal feelings. No, slipping. that was how we had half of the emails. <laughs> really? It, me saying Jar Jar Abrams is I I'm so used to hearing it said that way that, that I almost say it like it's his name now. Yeah. And JJ That's Abrams. How I'm introducing you to people. I'm like, this is my friend Rico. Eric Witzka, because I call you Rico all the time. <laughs> Suave. Number seven is Men in Black. Number eight, eight is Men in Black. Number eight, Men in Black. Sweet. Yep. Men in Black. Can't get enough. The best, Will the best, Smith. the best, the best. Sir, sir, with honors. Danny, number nine is an honorable mention that makes you mad. That movie was great. That yeah. was a fantastic yeah. movie. You know what? Better than better just for the the CGI and the that's effects. That's why it was fantastic. Exactly. That's not yeah, enough in my opinion. I could watch somebody take a dump in the toilet seen and, seen so and far I'd have a death and I'd be fine. I'd be like, this is great stuff. <laughs> in 2016, Danny, I went to uh, Disney World and they have the Avatar portion there in Animal Kingdom and I took the, the virtual ride. It's the best ride I've ever been on. Uh, when it comes to the visual effects, yeah. uh, even now, all the of that holds of its up. Own. It's so I'm cool. With, I'm with you on that. Is it a good movie? Eh. Dances with Wolves and Pocahontas have literally done that story better. And yep. they didn't have to have the word unobtainium in it. Yep. Is it a dope <laughs> experience? Yes. Among the dopest. For real. But as a narrative, yeah. not special. Middle of the road. I, I, <laughs> subpar. I would say just below middle of the road. But so it, it's worth an honorable mention for that reason alone. Because yep. you, I mean, Eric put it a little bit crassly, but you could sell virtual reality devices with that movie. You wouldn't need anything else. People would and, buy yeah. it for the movie. And, and the, it would be legit. The thing I is, a, a groundbreaking narrative, like a groundbreaking story, will be awesome basically forever. As people discover it's awesome. This Whoa. movie, it's unbelievable that it holds up like a decade later at this point. How much longer? Oh, easily but a decade. I think the time will come where this movie's visual effects will start to age. The time will come. And then this movie will have nothing going for it at that point. Well, other well, than it was awesome 10 years ago. Well, we'll see. We, well, we got two, I mean, if that's a two case, or three that's more that's Avatar movies awesome coming. Yeah. 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 But they were just delayed. He might also ruin made. it with the, with the next It's possible. Moments, so. It's James Cameron, though. So I wouldn't. I'd bet yeah. on I was going to say, some of my favorite movies are James Cameron movies. Like if yep. Transformers in this movie? In, in Avatar no. now? Avatar? Trans, trans, trans Avatar? Hey, I just made a trans Avatar. <laughs> hey, look at this. I'm Transformers my... was my number eight. What? No. <laughs> uh, Jurassic World, the other honorable mention. How do you guys feel about that? I can't believe Blade Runner is not on this list. <laughs> <laughs> I can believe Blade Runner is not on this list. True feelings. Uh, Jurassic. Mate, that is the correct response. Yeah. How, hey, how do you feel about Jurassic World not making it, but Jurassic Park making it? Can't believe Blade Runner didn't make it. It's the perfect answer. There's no Jurassic other right World, answer. Yeah. Jurassic World is fun, but it's like it didn't do anything that is special compared to Jurassic Park. So I don't even know why it's an honorable mention. It it's did not special. What The Force Awakens could not. 
which is undeniable even if you like that movie. It didn't just retell the original movie. Yeah. I guess. That it gave you just enough nostalgia and enough new. Have you seen Blade Runner? It does that and a bunch more. <laughs> the only the only, the only uh, difference is that the original Blade Runner is not a good movie. No, oh, 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 that's Winston. a big difference. He's oh, right. Winston. No, no. I, and I'll that's argue true. for I'll argue for Nate right now. That's impossible to calculate because there are fifty different versions of Blade Runner. Choose the one you like. There are so many. They're all good. None of them are the same. I was so confused trying to rent that movie. I was like. What what's See, the difference Winston, between this one and that and one? That uh, is the reason that what you just said, confusion, is the reason why you don't like that movie. That movie, no, because is I watched the awesome. standard theatrical version, and that one makes no sense at all. Because that's the lame one. Theatrical <laughs> uh, <laughs> version. That's the base model. No, Blade Runner. Listen, this is what happened. Isn't there more Ridley confusion? Scott made the movie, and then the flipping studio got it, and it was like, oh, this is too smart. And not flashy enough, so let me chop this out and this out and this out, and that's what they showed everybody in theaters. But the, when the DVD, or not even the DVD release, but it, when it was released to home video, it was the actual movie. And even yeah, that being yeah. said, the theatrical version is not that bad. You're you're crazy. Mm-hmm. And defend and defending that point, how do you feel about Dawn of Justice? <laughs> What the hell is Dawn of Justice? It, uh, <laughs> That's uh, the I've Justice League movie. Never seen that movie. Touche! Ha ha! I wish I ever watched this. That's a bad word. When we were young, <laughs> when we were young, we would play sword fighting. Instead of her saying "on guard," she'd go "touche." <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dawn of Justice is. Not a good movie. <laughs> it's, it's Blade a bad Runner movie is. That I love. That's okay, but listen, and Blade do you Runner. Love the original version, or do you like the director's cut that never got to be seen in theaters better? <laughs> I don't know what what you would say. Okay, but listen, Blade Runner, even the theatrical cut, has some interesting stuff to say about what life is and robots and what all that crap is. What what does Dawn of Justice have and to say? Origami, what is the Snyder Dawn cut Justice. of Dawn of Justice going to have I, to say? I would say if if Winston just quoted you, but replaced Blade Runner with uh, Dawn of Justice, he's like Dawn of Justice had some interesting to say things to say with robots and crap like that. <laughs> like we'd still be like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. So they're the same in that regard. <laughs> <sighs> I will never, I will never change my mind that Blade Runner is amazing, the first and second one, and that it is a travesty that it isn't even an honorable mention. And honestly, if it was an honorable mention, I might be more upset because it should be on the list. It's also important to note that Dawn of Justice did not make the list, and oh, no yeah. one fought no. for it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think that movie should be on the list because there's so many things wrong with that movie. Exactly. Uh, I feel like you could have also just said that with Blade Runner, according to your own feelings. Quiet you. Quiet you. (laughs) I'm just saying, sometimes they run together. I like Blade Runner. So I defended your point, but I was also helping uh, Winnie. Also, the second one is also flipping unbelievable. So you should all watch it. It's amazing. All right. I feel uh, like like, uh, uh, Dennis... Missed who should have been the lead. Gosling. I don't think it should have been Gosling. Yeah. Mm. Eh, I don't know. I think that was I, the I, only problem with it. It's, it's like it. beautiful and the story's there, but I, I think they he leaned where again where new movies go. We need to show you all the red herrings and then go in the other. Way. You're like, why not? Why not just make yeah, it that subtle? That uh, doing I'll a neo noir just like the other one. Make it subtle. Yeah, but you say that, but flipping Winston over here, it was so <laughs> subtle that Winston doesn't even think it's a worthy movie to exist. <laughs> and to be fair, he's an outlier. You got to remember how many people came around on Blade Runner. Just because yeah. you're alone in the room with how high you hold it doesn't mean you're there's alone. A, there's a uh, lot of the people. The whole reason uh, Dennis Villeneuve made it because there's such a huge cult following that you can't even call it a cult following anymore. It's like... Just Hand, a religion at this point. Handfuls and handfuls <laughs> of people. 
<laughs> yeah, there, there's there's a guy who likes hackers. All right. <laughs> oh, <that's a> good. <laughs> Frank, have you seen um, Drive or the Lance Armstrong movie with um, Ryan Gosling, or no. the other one? Oh, what's the other one that he's in but with the same director? Or the other one with Ryan Gosling, or the other one, the other one with Ryan Gosling. Hold up, hold up. I, I There's three drive. specific movies. And what, it's, uh, Blue, it's Blue Valentine or uh, Place Me on the Punt? No, it's not that one. Um, Ryan Gosling has uh, he makes movies with this director, and he's the one that directed Drive. He's the one that directed the Lance Armstrong movie. Okay. And he directed this other movie. And if you watch, I feel like those three movies, it is... It's called Gosling. I'm not saying Gosling's not a good it's, actor. Um, I just think the character wasn't the best choice for the, the principal story okay. arc. That's okay. all. Okay. Gosling uh, is an amazing actor. A, an amazing actor. And he is amazing in Blade Runner 2040. Seven. Okay. One. Yeah, because so. his, his roles in those three movies and Only God Forgives is the other one I was talking about. Oh, okay. And then the Lance Armstrong one and then Drive. His character in those three movies, you you can see why they casted him for Blade Runner. Because his performance in those three movies are like, okay, this guy can absolutely play a super stoic yet trying to be human um, a- android. Sure. When, he's, if, when he breaks down in... Uh, uh, Blade Runner, that I was like, wow, I, I'm surprised he didn't get an Oscar for that. Because he, awesome. I mean, he played it so stoic the entire time. I know. Now, his breakdown is so movie. genuine. Yeah. Yep. Like, it's fully human. You're like, he just went from zero to 60 without yep. chewing up the scenery. I mean, I was like, wow. Yep. And then Harrison Ford's performance. That's probably one of his. Look, I understand. What I, I didn't go like this, like it wasn't good, but it was like, that's like saying. And that lion acted like a lion today. Like he's always on. He's always on. When, he, when the camera's yeah. on, he's uh, and it's impossible. How how can a seventy five year old man who's higher on a daily basis than any of us have ever been in our entire life on the heaviest narcotics Combined. we've ever taken? Yep. Still that skill. I just still walked away from a plane crash. Technically sound, but he's still yep. a, yeah. The dude literally who, who who among us crashes a plane? And walks away, not just survives the experience, yep. walks away from a plane crash. <laughs> it's not like he was flying 16 feet above the ground and it tilted. He fell out of the air. <laughs> yeah. And then filmed Star Wars. He really is the best <laughs> pilot in the galaxy. <laughs> yeah. Here anyway, is I, I just love it. And then I'm also a huge fan for movies that are like really creative and liberal with their color palettes. And the way that they shoot the, the cinematography, and um, I think Deakins. Well, what's the cinematographer in that one? I think it's Roger Deakins, is the director of photography for that movie. Oh, yeah, and then, and then the colors, and then the soundtrack. It's like for me, as a full movie experience, the acting, the narrative, the colors, the music, it's just, I, it got me. It got me, and that's why I love it so much. Uh, yeah, and my my issue is not with it as a. Uh... Uh, as, as my director's eye or as a uh, moviegoer, my issue with it is as a writer. Yeah. Because yep. I'm always going to appreciate Philip K. Dick's uh, Android's Dream of Electric Sheep. Yep. Because that's how I, I was introduced to it, man. And I feel like it just for the intents and purposes of the movie, it just wasn't the right character to principally have it on. Um, it should either have been the, uh, the hybrid the girl hybrid, or it should have been um, uh, the Spanish chick, his, his, his wife. Yeah, but... Either of those would have been better. And honestly, that's what made me like that actress. I mean, she's beautiful, so it's not like I don't like her, but I like her as an actress. Because yeah. I, I recently uh, looked at Knives Out, and she's one of the leads in Knives Out. Yep. I was like, this is yeah. why they have her in Knives Out, yep. and why they put her to the front of Knives Out, even though Knives Out isn't nearly what Blade Runner is. Yeah, yep. and I thought it was a great watch movie. her in Blade Runner, and it's such a subtle performance. Yeah, I went to you go know, watch I, that. Alamo. It's still going, but it's good. I, I I get what you're what you're saying. You know that maybe Ryan Gosling, his character, the the android, shouldn't have been the main focus. I especially agree. Well, I completely especially agree with you what you're saying with um Joy Anna Darmas's character. Yeah, because she's even Anna less Anna human. 
even less human, you could argue, than Ryan Gosling is because she doesn't even have virtual. a physical form. Yeah. But um, at the same time, I feel like having because uh, the whole controversy in the first movie shows are moved up. Yeah. The 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 whole controversy in the first movie, one of the major controversies is is Harrison Ford's character an android or not, and you don't know. And I think if I think by using um Ryan Gosling, a character that you know he's not a human, but he's basically trying to emulate at least narratively, a lot of what Harrison Ford's character was in the first movie, I feel like that was the good choice, that you're, you're trying to make an avatar for Harrison Ford, but you can't have that because Harrison Ford's 70 years old. And I'm not going to disagree with you that if the movie was about joy, that also could have been very interesting, but it also, I don't know, it just would have been different. It would have been different. Right. And I don't know if that would have been worth it. Maybe. I don't think it would have lent itself to it being entirely about her and not having his character no, i think I, just I, I understand a that. switch in in how often you see her with how uh much you see him yeah would have been a little bit better yeah. but a lot of those long pauses come from his acting and yep. those are some of the best parts in that movie mm-hmm. and it, it's not really a defense but for the average moviegoer it's way easier to sympathize and to feel compassion for Ryan Gosling's character, because it looks like a human, sounds like a human, acts like a human, as opposed to Ana de, Armas, um, Ana de Ar- Armas's character, which is basically a hologram, mm-hmm. it's a lot harder to connect to that. Which, honestly, you sh- you sh- it's, it's a balance on, are you going to sacrifice your narrative for the audience's ignorance? But again, in this situation, I, I just think it was, it made more sense to go with the actual android and not, you know, the hologram. Right. Well, this isn't a podcast about Blade Runner. Yes, it is. Oh, every, oh, every, oh, every, oh my Every goodness. podcast is about Blade Runner. <laughs> I hope people... Actually, um, <laughs> what I was going to mention... He claimed his manhood back with a burn! <laughs> I hope people what stuck was... around for that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what, 20 minutes? 20 minutes in. Yeah, Which right. Is, Blade Blade I saw it coming, Blade Runner, I saw it coming Winston. But any opportunity <laughs> yeah, I get to talk about Blade talk Runner. About you guys should really edit this and just tell people if you want a 20-minute discussion of Blade Runner, no, no. stay for it. If you don't, I skip ahead. I Look, uh, but, um, I saw bring a... in the crowd. Nate and I are bringing in that crowd with that high-minded thinking. See, um, I Great. think what we want is just wait more Blade Runner, Runner fans guys. listening to this podcast. <laughs> See, there's a movie Wait, so in exactly Action and Adventure people. that I didn't really, I didn't really think of until now because I just barely started watching those movies. And it's uh, I don't even know if I'm saying this right. Yip Man. Yip Man. Yip Man. Oh, Yip Man. Yeah. So good. I think it's That's like yeah. one of my because favorite. They, when they say it, they're like, no, hey, it's my favorite martial arts movie of all time. That movie's it's, amazing. It's, it's awesome. a great movie. Yeah. I I, barely, I think only the people who's, who are talking about it right now would have voted for that movie though. So there really isn't a reason for it, for it to be on, yeah. on the list. We would have connect, had to connect the dots for everybody because they're like, who's in it? You're like, it's the guy so from uh, Rogue One. Star Wars, Rogue One, who goes, uh, I'm, I'm with, with the, the Force and the Force is with me. I'm yeah. with the Force and the Force is with me. And then yeah. everyone would be like, oh, I like that character. And you're like, yeah, he's actually a super huge martial arts uh, actor. You know, yeah. like Jackie Chan. He actually learned Jet Li. for that movie. Who? <laughs> yeah. yeah and it's that a shame because i feel like if everybody had seen that movie it might have been a contender to at least be on somebody's top eight on everybody's top eight but it's just too too obscure yep yeah like unfortunately I just barely started watching it like i think a couple of days ago like i just remember winston one time he said like you might like this movie it's a great, great movie. movie and it just like started resonating in my head like a couple of days ago and i was like you know what i have time let's watch that movie so you should have done that with Inception. You should have done that with Inception. Yep. Yep. I, sh- I should have. <laughs> it's okay. I- I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad you like it, man. That's that's a an amazing. It's a really movie. good movie. It is. Really well, it has movie, an yeah. amazing fight scene. Amazing fight scene in it. Yep. All awesome. Right. Well, uh, any anything else? Anybody? Take okay. Away Winston. Uh. Well. That's uh, that's all for us uh, tonight. Well, we thank you all for joining us. 
Uh, maybe next time we'll uh, we'll only talk about Blade Runner. <laughs> we'll definitely not, not mention Blade Runner, Runner at all because it's not on the list and it doesn't deserve to be. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so don't get me going again, man. <laughs> I'm going to open it. It's <laughs> <laughs> copyright. It's co- yeah, we're going to get copyright. Yes. I know. <laughs> open the box. Quick, show Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Seacrest heads in the box. Yeah. Ryan Seacrest is in the box. They fit Ryan Seacrest himself in the whole box. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> just open it. And it's just, it's it's his face right there. Oh instead. man, we should have started talking about somebody named Jack. <laughs> Who's in the box? Jack's in the box. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, uh, thank you all for joining us. Have a good one. Peace.